All right, so we're back here in Resident Services in our newly built building, and we are going to see what we need to get done this week. So let's see what Tom Nook has in store for us and what we can actually do now. So here we have Isabel just talking to us, going about our day, figuring things out. And honestly, this part's kind of boring and a little slow. One thing I want to work on with you guys is actually picking out what we put on this island. Now, this is where I would love your help. So leave a comment on which tools or items you want to see me get. I'm happy to use Nukazon. I'm still building out my money trees. I've been using that to pay for a specific item right now. But if you have things that you want me to see by with the Nook Bells or with the other items, the Nook Miles, let me know in a comment below. I would love to know what we should use and what colors we should go with. As you all know, we're going with the Fairy Court Zen theme, so super colorful and fun. I'm using a lot of reds and yellows and oranges, as well as pink and white. I think those will be good as our base colors, but I'm open to other things as well. Now we're back sitting at the construction counter, talking with Tom Nook about what we want to do, and seeing what he wants us to do. So he's just telling us about what he wants us to do as far as growing the community, how we can do something grand, and his big plans. Let's see. So he wants to bring KK Slider onto the island. And if you've been following Nick Animal Crossing, then you know that KK is super popular. He is one of the only social media stars and musicians around in Animal Crossing, and he is gorgeous. All the girls and boys love KK. Definitely want to get him on our island, and we are trying to shoot for a five-star island, but to do that, we have to do a lot of work. Now that he's given us our campsite construction kit, let's go build it out. And this is the spot that I picked. It's a little island right now. And I really like it. I think it'll work well for a park slash where we can put the camp. And I'm really excited to share it with you all. So let's build it, see what it looks like. I think that looks great. So now we have our campsite. Back at Resident Services, we are going to go up and talk to Tom Nook and see what we can do to really get this island flowing and beautiful. Here he is, telling us what the construction counter is and what we can do. And I want to build a bridge. So here he is, Tom Nook is just explaining how expensive these projects are and what we have to do for them and how many fees there are and just that basically it's just going to take a long time. Honestly, sitting through all this can get really annoying. <laughs> yes, I know what a bridge does. It does separate land and water. So I want the Red Zen Bridge. It is 228,000 bells and this will take quite a while to build up because earning these bells is not easy when you are playing basically on normal mode or hard mode. Um, I do time travel, so just keep that in mind, um, but basically I'm only playing a couple days in a row and then working offline. So it is February 4th now and here we are back in front of Resident Services and Leaf is here. This is the first time Leaf has been on our island and if you've never had Leaf, he's great. You can sell weeds to him and earn quite a bit of bells, and he's going to teach us how to do that. I don't really think gardening makes me happy, but you know, it makes some people happy, so definitely take that what you will. 
but I do like getting these extra bells, so <laughs> buy my weeds, please. And that is way more money than the Nook Cranny gives us. I also want to see what he has for sale. So tomato starts, Camilla, white, red, yellow, white, red, yellow. So I got some yellow lily bags. I think I also got red later and we did get tomato starts. With another new day upon us, let's go check out the construction counter and see what's going on. All right, so we have our first guest on the island and I have checked in with them. So they want to move into our island and we are going to go and set their plot. So let's get to it. Once again, he goes into all these little details and it just takes forever talking to Tom Nook. I think he's really lonely, guys. Alright, so I picked a spot where we have some more other islanders living in the front and as you can see I've also built out some of the area up here. We have a new sign. Here is our museum all built out and let's go see who our new villager is. Alright, I don't have the bridge built yet because 228,000 nook bells is a lot, but we're using our stick to cross the river and see who's in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, we got Marshall. Can you believe it? I certainly can't. I am so shocked. Like, look at this cutie. Going through the campsite is completely random. I did not reset the game. I did not make any changes. Like, this was the first villager that we got through the campsite which maybe it's just the Nintendo gods praying for us, I don't know. But we're going to set his plot, which we've done, and make it so that he wants to stay here, which we've done. So Marshall's living on our island now. This is exciting. Now for our last villager, I am using an amiibo card. And I'm using that with my pro controller. So you sync it up like this. And that's how you pull in the character in the game using the Nook Station and Resident Services. From there, you pull in the character. So let's see who I brought in. It's Shino! I really like Shino, and I've wanted her from the start. I ordered a ton of these Amiibo cards that are blanks, and I am doing a giveaway for everyone who subscribes likes and comments on this video to get an amiibo card of your choice. Okay, so we are going to go see what Chino wants us to make her. Now, you have to work with Chino or any Animal Crossing villager that you want to live on your island for three days in a row. Chino wants us to make her a wooden full-length mirror, so I have to collect a ton of wood only about five pieces, but I only have two at the time, so we're just going to chop, chop, chop all these trees to get the wood that we need. From here, we will go over and craft the item and just make sure that it looks really nice to really try and convince Sheena to stay. Alright, back to our crafting station, which is all the way on the other side of the island because I'm not a person who tends to bring their crafting station with them. I probably should, but I don't ever really think about it. So here we are crafting away and it's done. I just want to make it customized for Shino. We're going to make it black. Now I'm not sure if this will stay with her when she moves, but you know, here's hoping. <laughs> Those are all the color options of customization going with black and it's done. Let's get it back to Shino and see what she has to say. Okay, she is happy with it. Seems like she likes it. Aw, she's giving us a gift. 
and she is sad to leave the island, so that's a good sign. Just keep talking to her. It takes like forever. <laughs> and so here I am asking her to live here, and she's down with it. She wants to move here. All right, let's see if she does. Looks like I made a mistake by not putting out a plot of land. Now I do have the kit in my items. I just haven't placed it, but I know exactly where we're going to place it. So let's hope, fingers crossed, that she stays while I go place this. See, there is the kit. We're using our stick, crossing the lands. I cannot wait for that bridge to be built. <laughs> and speed running through this. All right, so... Here's where we're placing the kit, and I'm happy with it, so we place it, and let's go invite Chino one more time. Back to the, her tent. You can also see what I've done on the island, which is add a little dog park area and a cotton candy station as well. So here she is making jokes, and we're like, but wait, I want you to move here as well. Ignore resident services, come live with me, Chino. Please, come live with me. <laughs> so I tell her to go try again. And she comes back. Yay! Resin service is approved because we now have the land. And so, of course, she's going to move in. And yeah, here's our cotton candy station and our little park area starting to come together. We also have these new little areas. And let's go see if, if the plot sold. And it did. So she is officially moved in, guys. I am so excited. But if you would like a free amiibo of your choice of any Nintendo character, doesn't have to be an Animal Crossing one, leave a comment, let me know, and let me know who your favorite Animal Crossing character is and what you would like to see placed on the island, whether that is the giant Godzilla statue or the Tower of Pisa or something totally random that I haven't even thought of adding yet. Keep in mind that we're doing a fairy core Zen Island and I would love your input. That is all for today's video. If you have any suggestions or if you want to participate in my giveaway, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you all next week. I have a really big video planned that involves esports and fashion, so be sure to check back next Saturday for that upload. Bye friends!